So what can you build if you have an old mountain bike, a kid's trailer bike, and a bike trailer? You can build a bike train. Stick around and I'll show you how. Okay, so old mountain bike. This is my old Santa Cruz Blur. Got the road tires on it because I've been towing the kids around on the street on their, in the trailer. But we recently got this guy. My kids getting a little bigger, outgrew his balance bike, so we got a, a trailer bike. And my wife told me about this a while back. She said she saw a guy towing a bike, towing a trailer, and said, you know, I have to try that. So we got this guy. So what we did, we're attaching this to the mountain bike, of course. But our trailer mount, we put on the back of here. So we're going to attach that trailer to there. So there. So let me show you what it looks like as a bike train. seat post, got the trailer bike, and then the trailer hitch is attached to that with the Burley D-Lite trailer on the back. So, bike, train. One thing I definitely recommend when you're doing something like this are disc brakes. I don't know if any bikes don't have disc brakes anymore, but if you are thinking about towing this much weight, Definitely want to have some disc brakes on there because it's a lot of weight you're towing. I've got a 50 pound kid in that one, 40 pound kid on this, that's 90 pounds. That trailer bike thing's probably 30 pounds, bike trailer's about 20, so that's what 150 pounds just towing on this one bike. So, going any down here, definitely want to have some disc brakes on that guy. Uh, yes, yes, that's a triple crank. Everybody was wondering. This is pretty old. XTR though. Extra flags for safety. Double flags on this guy. Uh, this is an awesome trailer too. Burley D-Lite. And I got it because it actually has suspension. And it's super cool. I used to take my kids mountain biking on this guy and it's adjustable too. See a little adjustment down there so you can adjust if it's lightweight or heavy. You can adjust the suspension. It's actually pretty effective too pushing down on it you can see it move pretty effective so that's, this is an awesome trail I've, we'd have so much fun with this thing um, but now it is a bike train and we're gonna take it to the store we've got our bags in the back actually there's a little trunk back here gonna go do some shopping uh, fun thing to do get the kids out do a little riding shopping get some exercise People really turn their heads when they see this thing coming too. It's not a sight you normally see, so it's pretty fun to drive around. So I'm excited. We're gonna get the kids on it, go down to the store, buy some groceries, and come home. That is the bike train set up.
bird. Can you hear that? Such a loud bird. Anyway, we just got back from the store. Did some shopping. Figured I'd like go over the setup a little bit more. I'll show you what we got here. Starting at the front, this is my old Santa Cruz blur. It's an aluminum frame. Um, nothing real special about it. It does have all XTR stuff on it, which is nice. At least it was nice in the day. And yeah, it's a triple. As soon as the two buys came out, you could find all these old parts for cheap, so I went up, got some XTR cranks and whatever. Um, I think I have XTR, yeah, I still have my old XTR shifters on there. Fox float fork. Avid mechanical discs. I like mechanicals, you don't have to deal with the hydraulics and whatever. A little easier to maintain, I think. These are my, just some old wheels I had. Threw some disc on it, so I'd have disc brakes on the... Well, I'm two on the kids, but other wheels, uh, my mountain wheels are hanging in the garage. What else to show here? I think that's actually my, that's an XT cassette. XTR cassettes on my mountain wheels. XTR to regular, I don't even know if they have XTR anymore. My buddy over at RA Warrior could tell me if that's true or not. They still have XTR or is it like double X or EX? Grand, or I don't know what it is anymore. Kind of out of the mountain biking loop. But anyway, this guy, this is, I think it's from REI, Novara Afterburner. Got that on Craigslist for cheap. It just attaches to the seat post, little clamp action. I put some duct tape on it just to mar it all up. This connection here was a little wobbly when I got it. I don't know if you can see that, but a little tighter now because it's. When the kid's on it and leaning back and forth, it tends to kind of lean over and throw off your balance. So I got some stainless shims, put them in both the horizontal and the vertical joint, kind of tighten it up so it doesn't sway as much. And it's much tighter, much much easier for them to ride now. They're not leaning back and forth. So that if it's loosened up, you can just throw some shims in there, tighten up that gap, and make it a little, a little easier to balance. This is kind of nice. It has a little fender right here so when going through puddles and the kit doesn't get splashed and then the burly trailer I have that hitch just attached to the back of this guy and thus we have a train so bike towing a bike towing a trailer which is pretty cool we love this trailer I got this trailer in 2014 I think it's pretty expensive but I really wanted it for the suspension because we were mountain biking with it, it makes a good difference these are handy to have too, these bumpers. Because if you're coming, you look at it this way. If you hit a curb or something, you're gonna, or a wall, you're gonna hit that before you knock your wheel off. So those are nice to have. And it's nice and configurable in here. You're gonna have one kid in the center using the center strap. Or when they were smaller, I had both kids in here. So that was pretty fun. But they're too big to. Got both kids in the center trailer at the same time now. But you can also see another nice feature that they added, I think, in this model or soon before is how bows out right here on their shoulder area. So it's much more comfortable for the kid in there. It's pretty awesome. And then this, it's a roll bar of sorts. So, and they make it easy. Super easy to break down too. If you want to store it, these wheels just pop right off with a quick release. See if I can do it one-handed here. The one wheel, it comes right off. Makes it super easy to store, just a quick release. Boom, it's like that, pretty awesome. Um, I threw a little light on the back, a little flashy light for your safety. It's got reflectors back there. It's got a brake, puts the brakes on, got a nice little trunk. That's where we put all our groceries today. Well, that's about it, that's our train. We we'll use this for a little bit longer until they outgrow this, and then we'll have to move on to the next fun thing. So, really trailer, trailer bike, and whatever bike you want to tow it with. I suggest something with disc brakes. They're towing quite a lot of weight there, but fun stuff. Get out there and enjoy your rides. Get on the bike. Have fun.